Hi guys, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some occupational code that are also eligible to sponsor skilled workers from abroad and within the UK. It's not just the care worker visa that you can use to migrate to United Kingdom. There are other occupational code that are also eligible for sponsorship. Though this is not open for all applicants, it's strictly for those who have the academic qualification and the skill expertise to be able to leverage on this set of occupational code. So you need to stick with me to the end of this video if you're interested so you can get the full information. Hi guys, you're welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you all know, my name is Victor. In this channel, I give latest updates on ways you can migrate to United Kingdom through the skilled workers migration route, ways you can study abroad, and ways you can settle in when you arrive at the United Kingdom. I also share ways you can get value for money as a migrant by securing mortgage and other ways you can gain value for money within short time of living in the UK as a migrant. So guys, if this content looks exciting to you and you gain value for this video, don't forget to subscribe uh, to this channel to join the amazing Evergreen family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my video. I do appreciate you guys. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. UK government have come up with different measures to see how they can bring net migration to the barest minimum. Few months back, they put in some uh, restriction for international students not be able to come into the UK with their dependent effective January 2024. This has already taken effect. Just few weeks back, they also announced that uh, migrants on a skilled workers route, most especially those on the health and care workers route, carer and senior carer will not be able to bring in their dependent from spring 2024. This has put so many persons into panic, most especially those who have started the process of migrating to the United Kingdom through the skilled workers migration route. With all of this put in place, it is expedient that migrants and those who attend migrating to the United Kingdom in 2024, they opt to look for different options that can give them the leverage to be able to come into the UK with their dependent. So I'll be sharing with you some occupational codes that are also eligible to sponsor skilled workers within the UK and outside the UK. We'll talk more about the health and care and visa route because it's one of the most easiest ways you can migrate to the United Kingdom because uh, it doesn't require any form of academic qualification as part of the requirements. The basic requirement for you to get a health and care and worker visa is based on experience and skills, right? But the occupational code I will be sharing with you that are eligible to sponsor skilled workers from abroad and within the UK. And also note, they are also high paying job, right? They pay far more than the health and care and visa we all talk about uh, within the past few years, right? So this occupational code I will be sharing with you in a moment is basically on experience and education, right? So you, you need to meet both before you can be able to get job in that area but it's something that is doable i know of so many persons that have qualification in that area right with a good number of years of experience they can as well leverage on these areas i have the occupational code uh, written down so i will not miss out from any of them so as i'll be reading it out for you if you have experience or you have the academic qualification in any of this area or you know somebody that have the academic qualification and experience in that area you can as well share to them that is why i emphasize you always share my video it's not just to uh, watch you watch you give a thumb up and you share someone somewhere might just need that information to be able to put their migration um, uh, plan on a good footing, right? So sharing this content is something that will benefit others. It might not benefit you. Probably you don't have the requirement to be able to fit into that position, but somebody somewhere needs that information. So you need to share this content so I can go wide so so many persons can as well benefit from. So the first on my list is code 211, biological and biochemist. If you have the experience and the academic qualification as a biological and biochemist, you can as well apply into any of the job within that field. They are eligible to sponsor skilled workers within the UK and outside the UK. So if you are experienced in that area and you have the qualification as a biological and biochemist, you can look for a job 
with visa sponsorship in that area. The next on my list is code 2215 Dental Practitioner. Code 2215 Dental Practitioner. So if you have the qualification and you are experienced in this area, you can look for a job with visa sponsorship. They are high paying jobs. They pay far, far above the head, um, the carrot visa that most persons are using to come into the UK, right? This skill set, they are eligible for visa sponsorship in the UK. The next on my list is code 2217, medical uh, radiographer. If you're a medical radi uh, radiographer, right, in any country with good uh, number of years experience, right, you can as well look for a job with visa sponsorship in the UK, right? Most of these jobs, you can get them on the NHS uh, website, right? I would advise if you are experienced and you have the academic qualification in this area, go to the UK NHS website and look for job in this area, right? You can get visa sponsorship if you apply into any of this occupational code. Um, the next on my list is code 222. That is 2222, right? That is the occupational therapist. This is also uh, a high paying job within um, the NHS that you can actually get visa sponsorship from. So look out for those areas that concerns you, right? And apply into it. They are also high paying job. They are not job that pays 20,000 or 25,000 per annum. Some of the job pay from 37,000, 35,000 pounds per annum. Also code 6143. Dental nurse. If you're a dental nurse in any country, right, with good uh, number of years experience, you can as well get a job with visa sponsorship from the UK. Just dive into the NHS website. You see lots of job on this area. You can get job with visa sponsorship as a dental nurse in the UK. That's the code. It's 6143. You can also get a job with visa sponsorship on code 3218. Medical and data technicians, right? If you're a medical and dental technician, right, from any country with good uh, number of years experience, you can get a job with visa sponsorship. This skill set is also eligible to sponsor skilled workers from abroad, right? So if you have the experience and the academic qualification, you can look for a job as a um, medical and dental technician on the NHS website and you will get a visa sponsorship. They are also high paying jobs. Also, code 3111, laboratory technician. If you're a laboratory technician, right, you can look for a job within that area. They are um, eligible for visa sponsorship. If you're able to get a job as a laboratory technician within the NHS, right, you can get sponsorship from that area. So if you have the academic qualification and you have the skill and the experience, you can apply for a laboratory technician. They are what are eligible for visa sponsorship within the UK and outside the UK. Also code 2223, speech and language therapist, right? They are also eligible for sponsorship. That code is eligible for visa sponsorship within the UK and outside the UK. So if you have experience in that area, you can dive into the NHS website. If you see any of the job vacancy in that area, you, you can make application into it and you can get visa sponsorship as a speech and language therapist. This skill set I made mention of are some of the areas people are not trooping in in mass, right? Personal research has revealed that this area are some of the areas that have high vacancies within the NHS and they can sponsor skilled workers within the UK and from abroad. So if you meet the educational qualification and the experience needed in any of those roles, you can apply into it. You can get job with visa sponsorship. Guys, some of this occupational code I listed is something you can leverage on in 2024. We cannot just continue on the health and care worker visa route because from all education is coming to an end owing to some of the strict measure that is being put in place by the UK government. So if you meet any of the criteria set out on this skill set I had mentioned of, don't hesitate 
to check through the NHS website, which I'll be leaving on the description box of this video so you can as well check it out and make your application. So guys, I thought I should share this vital information to my audience. We are starting 2024 on a solid footing. This new skill set, I believe so many persons can get job with visa sponsorship before the middle of um, this year, 2024. So guys, we'll come to the end of this video. If you gain value for this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the amazing Evergreen family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my video. I do appreciate. So guys, see you in my next video.